Next, we're going to go to Swatch Basic. Um, Swatch Basic has uh, a lot of our good functions in here. This is where all the good stuff is. So we're going to go to Swatch Type. I have 120 degrees CCPM. Next, Servo Type. You just select the frame rate. These are 1520 uh, microsecond frame rate servos. So you're just going to select these. Pretty much the trick is when it moves, it's right. Uh, but just always make sure this comes defaulted analog. So just make sure you change that. Next, you select the heli size. This is a 450, so I picked, the, I picked the 450 selection. How about that? It also has a 600 and 700 selection, if you want to see that here. Um, 600, 700. This is a 450, so I'll go back to here. Next, flight mode. Here's where we have, uh, here's where you get to choose. You have numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's all you've got. Um, 5 is the fastest and the least amount of expo. Uh, 1 is very, very slow. Um, I tend to like 4. I know Kyle, Stacy, and Matt Bodos are running theirs around 5. Just depends on the model. Both of mine I've seen to set on 4. 4 is a really good number. Um, and I believe in the manual it tells you exactly how much expo and a, a little bit of everything of what's going on. So try 3, 4. That, that'll probably be a good starting number for most of you guys out there. So next, we'll go to the next menu. Here's where you have your reversing in here. Aileron, elevator, and pitch. What this is going to do, this is going to reverse your individual servos. So before, in a CCPM, you'd go onto your reverse screen and you'd reverse your channels to get your swatch to move up and down perfectly. Like up and down together, forward is forward, back is back, left and right. This is where you reverse stuff. This is the menu where you do this now. So you reverse, you, you get the correct combination of this to make sure that when your swatch plate goes up, you know, all three servos go up, down, left, right, etc. That means that you've got one more thing left in your radio. So in the radio, what you would do is you would go to your uh, reverse screen in the radio. And let's say when you give right, if your whole swatch moves left, this is where you reverse it. You reverse that in your radio. So you'd use aileron, elevator, and pitch. Those of you familiar with old CCPM stuff, if you move your collective stick up and the swatch went down, for instance, uh, when it should go up, you would reverse that positive number to a negative number. In your radio, that's where you're going to do your reversing to get everything set. That's really the only tricky part of the 750, just to get everything kind of set of where, every, you know, where you know where, where to reverse stuff. Um, here's where you have your sub trim. Um, this is a micro and I only had one wheel, so I do have sub trim in here. It works fine. So aileron I have negative 35, elevator I have 75, pitch I have negative 56. One of 90 I'd probably spend a little bit more time on this, um, but the 450s they've never really seemed to care. So this is where you do your sub trim. Do not do it in the radio. Then I have my rates. I have aileron, elevator, and pitch. This is where you set your degrees. So throw pitch gauge on here. Aileron, elevator, pitch. Make sure you've got your pitch set up. I'd recommend guys, aileron, elevator, anywhere between 8 and 10 degrees cyclic. Um, pitch, start at 10 degrees. Just work your way from there. If you want it to go faster, don't go into your endpoints. Just land the model. Go into your swatch basic and adjust your aileron, elevator, or pitch rates to get the desired pitch that you want. This is the only thing that you've got to land and adjust that you can't adjust from the radio. You can, you can kind of adjust it from the endpoint menu, but when I did that, it, something didn't feel right. So I just leave all your endpoints at 100 and adjust it on here. Swash ring is 100. That's, I'm not going to touch that. I, I never use that. You don't have to measure anything on your swatch. You don't have to set any endpoints. Nothing. You just set your degrees and you're, and you're done. You just go. The next thing is SBUS. Those of you guys running SBUS, we're not even going to go into here. You can look. It, all the channels automatically work fine, so you don't have to worry about it. Um, there's one more thing that you got to do in the, that the manual says to do. Um, what you want to do is you want to go into your expert swash setup. Here's where you're going to raise and lower your stick and you're going to teach it where your throttle points are. So this is how we go into expert. Are you guys ready for this trick? So you're going to hold this plus button. Hold it. Bam. Swash expert. So now we're going to go to our different uh, menus here in expert. I don't know. This is where you can do your... Uh, if you guys used to do your swash mixing, your pitch to aileron, all that stuff, you can do it. I've never really done it on here. I know that theoretically you're kind of supposed to. I've never really done it. There's no need to. All, my stuff just works. So if, if you wish to really get nitty and gritty, you can do that. So next we'll go into here and what we want to do is we want to find the, uh, let's see what we want right here, pitch zero. 
So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to move my stick to the center. So that's right around center. And I'm going to hit this right button here. Boom. Then I go into the next menu. Pitch low. Move my swash all the way low. Hit the button. I'm oh, sorry, this button. And then it's going to say pitch high. I'm going to go high. Hit this button. Done. Now it knows where my pitch ho pitch low, pitch high, and pitch middle is. Uh, this is just going to teach it. Um, I, I believe this helps out with the compensation. So just make sure you do this. Other than that, so now we can go back into basic, where if you hold this button down. So now we're back into basic. And then with here, we can go back to our home screen. That is it. I showed you how to set up a 750. Done. All right, and for those of you running a Nitro model, I did not forget about you. Here I have my prototype 750. It says 701, it's in the same case. So what I've done is I've gone to the Governor Basic screen. The reason you didn't see it flash there on my 450 was because I just told it I wanted it to be a fly barless unit and, th and act as throttle. Um, here I've got the Governor um, enabled. This, just, this is how it comes stock. So Governor menu, identical to the 701 video, but I'll just show you guys again. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the RPM set. I activated my um, governor menu in the radio and I just have it synced up. And this is my 700. I have 1750 in normal, 1850 in one, 1935 in two. These are my head speeds that I'm running. Very simple. We go to the next menu. Everything lines up nicely. There's no adjustments. 8.2 to 1 gear ratio. Your servo type, just pick the frame rate of the servo. Uh, stick switch. What you're going to want to do, as I showed you last time, you're going to want to raise your stick when you first get this to either about 20 or 30 percent. And then what we're going to do is we're going to press this button right here, the, the minus sign. Very, very simple. So you can set that on 20, 25, 30 percent. So that means when your stick gets above 20, 35 percent, it's going to turn on. So then on and off switch, I don't, I, my governor is on all the time. When I tune motors, everything, always governor, always on. Uh, battery fail safe. I don't really use that. Um, Y'all compensation haven't really played with that. I don't. F I don't feel like I need it. Um, and then most importantly, you set your idle, um, your your limits. So it's going to be your idle, um, your high, and your shutoff. So idle. My stick is at an idle right now, and I'll hit the button. So it knows idle. Then I'll go to high. So right now my stick's all the way at the top. Getting here so you can hopefully see something. So I pressed it. That's it. Idle and high. Sorry, there is no shut off. I forgot about that. There is no shut off. So just to make sure, idle. Yep, and high. That's all there is. There's just two menus in there. Cool. And then we go here. The limit test. You can test it. Idle and high. You can hear it changing. I don't really need that. And then your sensor, just adjust your sensor to where you can read 96% or so. That's, what, that's about what you want. And that's it, Governor Basic. Set it up and uh, kick yourself a goal. All right, initial settings and first flight on your 750. So once everything's set up on the bench, first step, fire it up. Make sure all your compensation directions are correct. Make sure when you give forward, it actually goes forward. Make sure when you lean the model forward, it actually tips back, etc. Uh, aileron, elevator, and rudder. Make sure this every flight, you don't want to risk something not booting up right. And just, just make sure you check it every single flight. That's very, very important with these things. You're flying by wire. You're flying by the grace of the 750. So just always check that. Um, so then what, what we're going to do, just pick it up, fly it around. Um, everything should be fine. If you notice any shakes or wobbles, you've got your gain turned very high. Um, the 750 has a very noticeable wag when your gain is turned too high. The, if your aileron's too high, it'll just kind of wiggle itself side to side really, really slowly. Um, and the elevator, you'll see it do it in forward flight. So just bump them down. The numbers are very generous on the gain. So if you're in between, let's say if you're at 65 and you lower it down to like 60, that should be good. One or two points is not that big of a step. So it's nice. It gives you lots of flexibility here. So once you're flying and you have your gain set, uh, then what you want to do is called the trim flight. So with the trim flight, we're just going to pick it up in a hover and just sit there. And it should pretty much hover hands off if your CG is correct. Always make sure your CG is correct on a fly barless helicopter. 
half tank of fuel, give or take, with a canopy. Um, so as you're sitting there hovering, simply flip that switch that we discussed earlier where it takes your aileron and your elevator out of heading hold and into normal. So mine was switch A. So I'd flip switch A and now I'm in normal mode and it won't crash or do anything crazy. So you're just hovering there without any gyro compensation. Um, I've flown it around in normal mode and it actually flies okay. So uh, while you're in normal, just sit there and hover and you'll see it start to lean either left or right or forward or back. It'll be out of trim a little bit, probably. So all you want to do is just use your aileron and your elevator trim on your radio to just slowly adjust that. So just bump it till you can pretty much hover hands off. That's what you want. So then what I usually do is I hit hold and just kind of land in normal mode. And then what you want to do as demonstrated above is you want to flick your switch very, very quickly back and forth about three times and then end up in heading hold. Once it's done, you want to end up in heading hold. Once you've done that, it's learned where your trim is, it's learned where its center is, and then you're totally done. So always leave that trim in there so I may have like negative four and positive eight or something like that on elevator and aileron trim that's fine don't worry about it that's how it's actually designed to be used so it's very very convenient um, so that's tracking the helicopter as I demonstrated in the 701 video at the rudder always make sure you track your rudder meaning you have a separate switch to flip into um, rate mode or non heading hold mode on your rudder so sit there in your idle up one idle up two head speed hit that switch and then you want to adjust your mechanical linkage on your rudder so that your rudder is sitting there uh, dead exact at neutral at a hover this will help the 750 so much if you found that you were really far off then you want to go back in and uh, redo your limits and then you're all done so past that um, the only numbers that you can really tweak are the one two three four five if you don't like the way it's flying you can play with expo blades make a huge difference but for the most part all these settings should get you so close that i think everybody will really be pleased with it so thank you guys for watching my futaba cgy 750 video Hopefully this will get you guys in the air with minimal hassle. Uh, between my last video and this one, I figure there's a lot of information out there. Um, always, if you have any questions, feel free to email me. Um, go to bobbywatts.com and click on the email me button. I'll be happy to answer any questions that I can. Um, this thing works on everything from 200s to 700s. I think everybody's really gonna like it. So always make sure you go back, read the manual, check it, make sure your direction's right, make sure compensation directions are right. Um, you know, once you take off, you do your trim flight, you're good to go. There's really not too much to adjust. If you wanna be adventurous and go into the expert menus, feel free, you can do it. We really haven't played with too much in there so I really can't offer too much help um, but we've gotten it as close as we can on the first try what you guys are flying now is exactly what we've been flying this whole time so I really think you all are gonna dig it so until next time see you later <laughs>